Really? Really? I, uh, I bowled a 129. Yes, it's me and I'm in love again. Had no love and say you know when. You know I love you. Yes, I do. And I'm saving all my love in jail for you. So the smooth nightclub performer um, goes on television, and it shows that he bashes, well, people who were handicapped. Now, of course, it didn't really happen because it was him. The, when Chairman Obama bashes the handicapped, that's okay. Of course, if someone else does it, uh, even though they didn't do it, they make believe they did do it. But that's how the Marxist-Stalinist regime in the newspaper business works. It was very curious to me, you know, it showed how insensitive it was when uh, President Obama um, made the Special Olympics remark. But I thought what was more telling was how he didn't even have the uh, decency to issue an apology himself. He had it done through his press corps. What happened here is the guy is an entertainer, okay? So he thinks he's amongst friends when he's around entertainers. And what happens is the real Obama slips through. The goofball wise guy, the kid who said anything and got away with anything, the college prof in the academic uh, setting with a couple of glasses of wine in him. So he starts goofing about bowling like someone from the Special Olympics thinking, hey, I'm around friends, not realizing he's now the president because he still doesn't believe it. Stay in the line. I'll be right back. Savage. So we have a volunteer uh, organization for your child whether they want to volunteer or not. They're going to be wearing uniforms that would be worn by the volunteers in public service academies that will be scattered throughout America at, quote, campuses. The vote yesterday came on H.R. 1388. It's going to be funded with an allocation of $6 billion over the next five years. And he got away with this. What are these volunteers? What are they supposed to be doing? Now, if you remember last year, this devious phony gave a speech last year where his Marxism slipped out just as his disdain for the uh, handicap slipped out last night on the Fat Comedian Show. Did you hear that soundbite where he urged the uh, creation of a, a national civilian security force larger than the U.S. military? Listen to it. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. Well, Hitler had the SA. And, of course, they were uh, um, used to protect the president from everyone because he was not loved by anyone. And God forbid this should happen in this country. I'm going to open the show up right now to liberals only. Would you send your child to a required volunteer service camp, would you permit them to wear uniforms issued by the government? Because remember, they're calling it a volunteer force, but it is going to be a required volunteer force. I thought you liberals were opposed to this kind of thing. Why are you saying nothing? Um, I want to talk about the, the youth corps. My father was a Hitler youth, and he would rise up and strike me dead if I didn't do everything possible to keep my kids out of some government volunteer youth corps. Now, what, you mean because he was a reformed Nazi or because of what? Well, he was nine when the war started. and um, So, he wait, he had to be a member of the Hitler Youth. Yes. It was like Obama's volunteer corps. Yeah. In other words, it was called volunteer, but any kid who didn't go in it was, uh, what? What happened to any German kid who, who was not put into the uh, Hitler Youth? Well, to begin with, you'd be ostracized by all your friends. Your parents would be marked. Uh, in fact, they actually got him to rat on his dad for things he said in the privacy of his own home. Uh, well, that sounds like a few of the um, uh, mean-faced, clipped-haired women who run Child Protective Services. Well, yeah, and it's really scary. And, you know, he never lived that down. He felt... Well, I don't think that Obama is modeling his volunteer corps on Hitler. I think he's modeling it along the lines of the young pioneers in the Soviet Union. And the young pioneers were a, a so-called scouting group 
which they used to indoctrinate generations of Russian children into communist thinking. I believe that's the model that Obama is using. I don't think he's using the Hitler Youth. I think he's using the uh, young pioneers uh, from the Soviet Union. It's my job to indoctrinate my kids, not the president's. Well, Roland, we have a very dangerous, out-of-control, uh, loose cannon in the White House. And if he's not reined in by his own party, two things are going to happen. They'll get thrown out of office and never get reelected. The people, I don't care what the newspapers say. I don't care what crap Nancy Pelosi puts out. The people, I know more about the people than they do. They're all deranged in politics. The, the people have had enough of this guy. They don't like his radical left-wing activism. They don't like his lack of experience. They don't like his printing of money. They don't like his constant forcing things down people's throats without any kind of discussion or vote. I predict the Democrat Party will be the, have the biggest defeat of all time unless they rein this guy in. It's called a BS. That's what it's called. He's a BS artist who's gotten away with murder all his life because I've told you before and I'll say it again. He is a multiracial child. The white liberals got on their hands and knees to him in Hawaii his entire life. They, they virtually worshipped him. No one ever said no to this guy. Nobody ever said, no, Barry, you're wrong. So he thinks that everything he does, everything he does is God-given. Do you understand he's a megalomaniac and a narcissist? Anything could happen in this country. The man is an out-of-control maniac. He's an out-of-control maniac. I'm the only one who sees it for what it is, and the only one willing to say it like it is. And listen to me. Not long from now, this man is going to be roundly stopped by his own party. He is out of control. Here we are in the savage nation, worrying about what this uh, imposter is about to do next. The biggest story of the day, truthfully, is uh, uh, it came out of World Net Daily, which I put up on michaelsavage.com. It is so frightening. I don't know how. You so-called liberals don't get it yet of what you've done to us, the Frankenstein that you put into the White House. I don't think you understand this, but his so-called volunteer corps, to me, seems to be modeled on the lines, along the lines of the young pioneers in the Soviet Union, which were a required volunteer corps for the youth. They were a so-called scouting group. And it was used to indoctrinate generations of Russian children into communist thinking. I don't know how you liberals don't understand that this man is a Frankenstein. I really don't think you understand this. But, you know, I wrote a book years ago, a great uh, success, called Liberalism is a Mental Disorder. And one of the symptoms of this mental disorder is denial. WOR in New York. Norman, welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Dr. Savage, uh, during the barking of the theme you just did there, uh, my, my, my poodle was doing his little ballerina dance, so I thank you for a little levity there. Did it set the, do the dogs off? <laughs> and he just got fixed, too. He's got this little satellite dish around his head. It was uh, pretty amazing. But uh, I have two sons. They're 10 and 12 years old. And um, not knowing about this volunteer corps until I was listening to you a little while ago, I'm worried about them. I don't want to see them in any other uniforms than Little League uniforms right now. I want to well, what if the government said that it's required that your sons attend uh, this uh, uh, camp, a camp for the vo volunteers for Obama's volunteer corps, and it's required that they become volunteers, what would you do? can I do? Do I move to Canada? What, what, can I, what can I do? I want a second opinion. Well, the f I'll tell you exactly what you are going to do. By the way, if you think I'm making this up, what I want you to understand is that the House of Representatives just passed this law yesterday. It has not gone through the Senate, but it went through the House yesterday. And it is a volunteer group where they would wear uniforms, they'd be trained at government-controlled campuses, and we do not know if the Senate will go along with it. I'm praying that they don't, because if they do, what's going to happen is there'll be a million lawsuits by a million parents who will stop it. There's no way the Supreme Court will uphold this fascism. It's scary. Well, I'm trying to tell you that Obama is a Frankenstein. He's a great, great uh, uh, deceiver. 